Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to find the second moment of area of a general shaped triangle that has its base on the x-axis and we're trying to find it with respect to the x-axis. So the triangle can be in any shape. Notice that the height of the triangle is h and the width of the base is b. Now we've drawn a area element here dA which has length L and height dy. The distance to the area element is y and the distance from the top of the triangle to the area element it will be h minus y. We're going to need that information in just a moment. But the equation of course is going to be i, which is the second moment of area with respect to the x-axis, is equal to, typically we need a double integral. But here we're only going to need one integral because we already have an area element that spans the full width of the triangle. So a single, a single integral will work. So we have the distance to the x-axis, which is y squared times dA. Now dA is going to be L times dy. So this is going to be equal to the integral of y squared. And notice the the limits of integration is going to be from 0 to the maximum height, which is h, from 0 to h, and dA can now be written as L times dy. Now we somehow have to, have to write L in terms of where we are on the triangle, because L is going to be a changing length, it's not a constant, and let's see how we can do that. We can do a relationship. We can say that L divided by the uh, L with respect to the base, so the ratio of the length to the base is going to be equal to the ratio of this height to the full height, which would be h minus y divided by h. In other words, L can be written as b divided by h times the quantity h minus y, and now we have L in terms of y, which is what we want, because we have the differential dy. It means that this can now be written as the integral from 0 to h of y squared times b over h times h minus y times dy. There's a minus here. All right. Now we can take b over h out because those are constants. So the second moment of area with respect to the x-axis is equal to b over h times the integral from 0 to h of h times y squared minus y cubed and the whole thing multiplied times dy, our differential. Now we're ready to integrate. So now we get this is equal to b over h times that would be h y cubed over 3 minus y to the fourth over 4 evaluated from 0 to h. Now all we have to do is plug in our upper limit because if we plug in the lower limit we get zeros. So the second moment of area with respect to the x-axis is b over h times, when you plug in the upper limit you get h to the fourth divided by 3 minus h to the fourth divided by 4. Notice the numerators are the same, but the denominators are different. We have a 3 and a 4. The common denominator is 12. Since they only differ by 1, this can then be written as b over h times h to the 4th divided by 12. And this h cancels out one of those, which means that this is equal to 1 12th b times h cubed. Again, if this was in standard units, we would have meters to the fourth power. But since we're doing this in general, any triangle that has its base on the axis that you're referencing to, where you're trying to find the second moment of area, any triangle of any shape, the second moment of area can be found to be 1 12th, the length of the base, times the height cubed. And that's how it's done. 